In the next couple of days, President Bush is scheduled to resurrect the old law of the sea treaty and ask the Senate to ratify it. He's already written to Senator Biden and asked him to hurry up and pass it. Now, this is the same treaty that Ronald Reagan rejected 25 years ago. He was so angry about this attack on our sovereignty that he fired the State Department personnel who had negotiated the treaty under the Carter administration. The Law of the Sea Treaty would set up the International Seabed Authority with a legislature, an executive, and a judiciary. It is global socialism. It is world government. It is worse than the United Nations. We would have w one vote, the same vote as Cuba, but we wouldn't even have the veto. This International Seabed Authority would have the power over uh, uh, nine-tenths of the world's surface. It would have sovereign control over all the riches at the bottom of the oceans. It would have the power to impose an international tax disguised under the words assessments, fees, and permits. The International Seabed Authority would have the power to regulate ocean research and exploration. Uh, production quotas for oil would require our sharing of intelligence. The United States could never be self-sufficient again on on the minerals that we need for our national defense. This treaty would set up an international tribunal headquartered in Hamburg, uh, which would resolve disputes and be superior to our own Supreme Court. Uh, we would, there's no guarantee that we would even have one representative on the court, and we can be sure it would be anti-American like these other tribunals, such as the World Trade Organization. It is a trap to use our private enterprise dollars and wealth to transfer it to a UN style global authority and distributed it among the corrupt anti-American countries of the world. Unfortunately, the Bush administration is using the United States Navy to lobby for this treaty. Now, don't pay any attention to what they say. You know we have civilian control of the military. There's no way the Navy can oppose a Bush policy. They're trying to tell us that they need this treaty to do what the Navy has to do. This is an insult. Our American Navy can go anywhere we want on the high seas, and we don't need to ask some international authority. Now, it used to be we had Jesse Helms to take care of these problems for us. He put all these UN treaties in the bottom drawer. We don't have Jesse Helms anymore, and so we need you to take action. So I am asking you, first thing Monday, to pester the White House opinion line with calls 202-456-1111 and ask the president not to submit the law of the sea treaty. It is a bad deal. And if he does, it will diminish whatever he has left of conservative support in this country. 202-456-1111. You got it? And I have copies of my Phyllis Schlafly report on the table for you. I wrote it two years ago, but nothing has changed. It's just as bad as it ever was. Thank you.